Hi, it's Kathy Vogan here. I'm going to show you how to join and post to scene to scene. I'll go through the whole thing for you and uh, hopefully make this nice and simple. So if you decide that you want to be a contributor to Sing to Sing, the first thing you've got to do is join. So if you go to the site at singtothing.com up here, the first thing you're going to have to do is register. If you are already registered, then the next thing would be to log in. But let's just go and register first if you are a new user. So I'm going to click on that button and it'll ask you to choose a name. I'll just make one up, but I have to give a real email address. So let's call this one Dummy. And then I'll just put one of my real email addresses and then I'll go register. Now, what it does is it sends me an email, so I have to go and check my email account. This email has been sent to me by WordPress, and what I'm going to do is if I'm going to be logging in, I better just copy this password, copy, and then click on the link to register. So now I'll put in my username that I chose before, and I'm going to paste that password in. And if I choose Remember Me, then I, on the same computer, I won't have to type my password in again. So I will do that and go log in. Now, when you first join Thing to Thing, you are simply a subscriber. Uh, where we put our posts in is up here on the top left-hand corner. So for the moment, this user, dummy, doesn't have the right to actually contribute yet. However, this little demonstration is first and foremost for one of our new members, Sean Lennon. He's a cartoonist, an artist, and seems to do quite a few political cartoons. I think they're fabulous. So I'm doing this demo primarily for you, Sean. So let's log in as Sean. Sean Lennon. He's in memory there. And Sean's password, I do advise you to change your password once you get into the site because you, it'll be to something you will remember. Okay, log in. When you log in as a registered user and also as somebody who's been authorised to contribute or edit, you see more things here. You see posts in particular and you see pages. There are two different types of posting. Pages are generally reserved for longer articles, essays and things like that and they are to be found in the menus on the site. But let's just keep this simple and do an ordinary post which goes to the blog and that'll stay there forever. It may be archived at the end of the month, but if you go to look at the previous month's postings, it'll still be there. So click on posts and then click on add new, uh, add a new post, and then type the name of the post and nice which very much relates to the nature of Sean's post. Now, you go into the main body of the text. You may see it looking like that. If you click on this button on the far right, you get access to uh, more buttons. Um, you also have four buttons up the top where you can add an image to the post. That's what we're going to do with Sean's. Uh, add a video, add audio, and add media. You can add various types of things to this. It's not just about text. If you wanted to put in text, you would just put in your text there. And if you wanted to put in a link to a website or your website, you just put in the address. And then you need to select it. And it's actually a good idea to also copy this. And then you can click. Once you've actually selected some text, you get these little link buttons that light up. This one to add a link, that one to unlink something. So I click on the link thing and because I copied it before, just delete that, I can just paste it in and always choose open link in a new window and people will stay on the site while they're looking at uh, this other external site you want them to look at. Uh, put a title in and just don't put anything there. Go insert. Now for Sean, we'll, we'll actually delete all that. So what I'm going to do for Sean is Click here to add an image and you can either go from your computer from a URL or stuff that's in the media library already. There are things that have already been uploaded and are visible on the site. You can call them up again because they go into our media library. So coming from your computer when you're just going to actually upload the files and remember here that there is a limit of 8 megabytes so it's best if you save it as a PNG file or a JPEG 
PNG is actually better, the color looks nicer. So I just go select files to upload, choosing Sean's image now, go open. Might just take a moment depending on what your line is like. There it is, it's uploaded and that's the name of the file, but let's give it a name that everybody's gonna see. Naughty and nice. And you can put um, an alternate text, you know, for when people mouse over or you get that appearing on PCs especially. You can put a, a caption. I'll put his name in the caption as well so people really see it. This actually appears underneath the image and I'm just going to paste it here as well. Now in our particular template you don't see the description in this but it is recorded so you can put quite a, a sizable body of text here if you like. Now here you can include a link if you like to your website or to where if you come pulling this in off the web you can send people to that website to see the image in its context or you can send people to anywhere you like here I don't mind or if you just leave it the way it is when people click on the image then a new page opens and they see the image full scale some things I do have got a hell of a lot of detail and you don't really see the picture all that well displayed at this size so I sometimes leave it like that if it's actually an artwork. So once you've done that don't worry about the alignment that's all sort of taken care of and then go insert into post and then that appears here. So just take a look at it make sure it looks as you want. You can change the colors of text here if you select the text and you just click there, you can choose a new color and stuff like that. Now the last thing I need you to do before you click publish if you're an editor or submit for publication if you're just a contributor is to decide on the category otherwise it just sort of slips into this uncategorized thing. Now in the case of Sean's cartoon we're going to choose arts. You can actually publish in a number of different categories. Also quite important is just below that you can add tags now, if you click on choose from the most used tags, these are some of the tags that I've put on other pages so that people, when they're doing searches on Google, can find our stuff. This is related to WikiLeaks. And I'm also going to put Sean's name. So if somebody did a search for Sean Lennon and WikiLeaks, this would probably come up right at the top of the search. So I click on add, and now I've got two tags, WikiLeaks and Sean Lennon. That'll do for the moment. We'll see if Sean wants to change anything and then go publish. Or you can go preview if you're not sure what this is going to look like. I'm kind of used to doing this, so I'm going to click on publish. Now, even though we've been almost filling in a form here, if you click on just over here on view the post, WordPress in the background does all the work of formatting this and putting it nicely onto the site for you. So really all you have to do is type a title, type a body of text, click and upload a photo, select text and put a link, whatever you want to do. It's all very, very simple. It's pretty well as simple as posting on Facebook. I'm just going to go back in now. Once you're logged in, you'll see here at Site Admin. And if I click on Site Admin, I just get back to the back end of the site. If Sean wants to go in and change this in some way, add something, change the name of the title, you just have to click on posts. They're all there and he clicks on edit. And he comes back into the post. You can make modifications and then update. Now, just before we finish this, I'd just like to go to Sean's profile because when you log in for the first time, you can go to your profile page and fill in some of these details. So if Sean has a website and I haven't found it yet or I put it in, you can type the URL of your website. Quite personally, I don't like the idea of putting all these things in, but it's entirely up to you. You can put a bio. Sean has called himself Sean Lennon and first name Sean, second name Lennon, because when he publishes, he wants people to see who did it. You can do the same thing, but you could also register again with another name if you want to do some other stuff that is more risque. I don't want any cables or any emails or any suable stuff published here. That would be really silly because we could get into trouble. The idea is it's your own words or your own images or 
I don't mind links to an embedding of YouTube material, that's fine. Republishing cables and things like that is a no-no because we do want to continue without any uh, litigation and I've been really dead careful about what goes up here so there can be no cause for lawsuit. Now, one of the things that you want to do probably quite quickly is to change that silly password that you got by email. So you might put in a password that you can easily remember. If you include capital letters and small letters and maybe a number or two, it will get strong and then you would just update your profile so there you go. That's how you set yourself up in thing to thing. Eventually, if you want to create a page, if you're writing essays, such as this one here, it's exactly the same. You go add new, uh, put in a title, put your, your stuff in there. The only thing that's different about making a page is when you finish, you need to, instead of the categories for posts, you have parent so you need to actually give it a parent and you have the possibility of choosing features, gallery, video. Sean, if you want to try doing this as a page, choose new page and choose gallery as the parent. And then that means that up here in gallery, and that will stay there for a long time. Okay, and hope that you'll be putting lots of other naughty and nice things up there soon.